This is Tim. He likes motorbikes and growing his beard. This is Jake. He likes video cameras but isn't very good at using them. This is Zoe and other Tim and the wee baby Levi. They like doing family stuff like picnics and walking happily down the street. This is Jackie. This was Jackie. Wife, mother, daughter, sister, friend. She lived a normal suburban life in Sydney as the youngest of five sisters. At 23, she married Tim. And together with their children, Jake and Zoe, they travelled the globe as Tim's career in the exciting world of transportation logistics progressed. In 2007, Tim and Jackie were living in Toronto while the kids were living up their early 20s in Sydney. On a warm spring evening, Jackie went to pick up Tim from work when she found herself lost on a familiar and easy route. That's when it became clear that something was wrong. I remember the phone call like it was yesterday. It was probably early 2007 and uh, Dad called me at work on the mobile and said, hey, call me back when you get home, when Zoe is with you, doesn't matter what time. The words that he said was, your mother's going to die. I remember not really understanding <laughs> what it meant. <sighs> I just remember being in, just in absolute shock. The worst thing is that there are stages. When she first got it, the only thing we had to worry about was her being a bit confused, or needing help to know where the dishes are, and stuff like that. As it progressed, she ended up with extreme paranoia. Then she slowly uh, stopped being able to write or to read. Um, then she forgot who we were as a family. Then she couldn't uh, toilet herself anymore or eat her own food anymore. Every time it's been a different stage, it's like watching her die again. The fondest memory I would have of um, uh, since she was not well, would have been Zoe's wedding because she was still pretty good for Zoe's wedding. You know, she got there and we could, you know, uh, she's all dressed up and looks good and Jake walked her down the aisle and we, we were socially able to, to have her there and, and not do the wrong sort of stuff. She still knew that something special was happening. She still knew for the most part that I was her daughter and she could still smile and try and say a sentence. Jackie was never really aware that she had the disease. There was a, even in the very early days, because it had already started, the brain had already begun to lose that cognitive ability to realise that there was something wrong. I accept the situation, I adapt to the situation. You know, someone's got to force yourself, you know, to have a, a good attitude about what you're doing. Having become a mother, knowing that my little boy won't know what she was like, has made me really want to be able to tell him about her so that he'll know what she was like and how much she would have loved him. He won't get to know her at all. He, is, he just knows this shell of a person that he knows to call Nana and he knows that she's special, but that's it. We went to um, the hospital to see Levi the first day and Jack didn't really know that I was even a baby, I don't think so. And, you know, I can remember from years ago when we you know, but when we had our own kids, you know, Jack and I would say she'd like, she's looking forward to being a grandmother. You know, it's like, I think she would have made a great grandmother. She would have loved doing what grandmothers do. If she was herself for the next two minutes, I would tell her I love her. I'm sorry this is happening to you. Um, I'm sorry you're not around to see who I've become. Then, then I suppose I would ask, does she know anything that's happening to her? You know, does she understand anything I say and she just can't respond to it? Or, or is it like she's in there but she just can't control what her body does? Like, is it that sort of disconnect? 
or is there just nothing in it? It's basically like a thing of a sort of two-year-old. I'd say I love you. I'd say I miss you. The, the, the journey I'm on at the moment, you know, it's the long goodbye. It's been happening since 2007, so for seven years she's been slowly losing function and capability. I haven't had a conversation with her in years where she's actually said anything that made sense. Um, so, you know. Yeah. When you've been doing it for this long, you'd sort of rather would have been something quick and over and done with, like, you know, a car accident or something. At least it's quick and you can move on. Instead of spending seven, nearly eight years saying goodbye, piece at a time, you could just deal with it then and there. It's what we pray for every day. That she can just go home and be at rest and that the rest of us can have some closure. Do you see her as your wife anymore, or...? No. It's just... Somebody to look after. Someone you look after.